Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. I want to talk to you about electrical safety. I was going to anyway, but it's particularly important this morning. I'm wearing my lab coat, shop coat, whatever, because I was back in the shop fixing a piece of equipment. Electrical problem in it. Thought I had it fixed. Went to plug it in. I didn't have it fixed. The cord <laughs> did whatever it does when there's a short circuit. Poof and sparks and soot. I scrub my hands, but there's still some soot on it. This brings up the point, though, electrical safety. You cannot be too careful with electricity. I think electricity is probably more dangerous than anything else the average person does in a shop. And I wanted to talk about this. This was a Weha screwdriver. Um, it was electrically rated. I and let's see, it's right here. There it is. IEC 60900 colon 2004 AC 1000 volts. Great screwdriver. Uh, really protect you, but the protections in the coating on it. And when you get looking at it closely on this one, and you can see this on the website, there were little nicks and gouges in it. Nothing through the coating. But if you're using electrical tools, I think you ought to go through them every so often, depending on how much you use them. If you're working with them, I think once a month is not too much. Go through and see what kind of shape, what kind of condition they're in. And then if they're not safe enough, I strongly think you ought to break them so that no one else can use them. Um uh, give you an example, by the way, as I said, this is a Weha screwdriver. In order to break it, I had to clamp it on the vise, and you can, uh, yeah, you can see there where the vise marks on it, where it's deformed. Clamped it on a vise, put a three foot cheater bar on the handle, and had to pull it about 30 degrees before it finally broke. So it's a tough screwdriver, but it needs to be a safe screwdriver. These tools need to be inspected regularly. Uh, and I do think that if they're not safe anymore, if you've got any questions, you ought to replace them. What I'm afraid of is that somebody's going to see this screwdriver lying around with the rating on the handle and use it and get hurt. So that and the fact that I just, I just hate, I just hate going to do a job and find a broken tool. So that's it. Work safely so you can buy some more tools from me. Work safely because you got a wife, because you got a kids, because life's pretty good, because Christmas is coming up. Uh, work safely. Inspect your tools uh, every now and again, please. And we'll be happy to sell you a single tool, whatever you need to bring your kit up to a safe condition.